President Biden has delivered his 2023 State of the Union message. Like most of these messages in recent history, it was largely full of empty boasting, posturing, and lavish promises about how big government is going to fix all of your problems. But who is addressing the spiritual state of our union? Are we really trusting only in governmental powers and processes to heal our land? I love America and believe each citizen needs to be involved in charting the future of our nation. The church has compartmentalized its faith from influencing our nation far too long, just as most of America's leaders compartmentalize their faith from their politics. Today, our nation has become a product of this sad reality. The time is now for our nation to recognize that we cannot fix ourselves. The signs of our brokenness are glistening in our dark world. The blatant destruction of the family, rebelling against authority, the rising threat of our security, clear attacks against religious liberty, and of all things, the arrogance to believe that the highest court in our land can rule on what the Bible says is genuine marriage. It just testifies to how broken we really are. But the greatest tragedy of all is the killing of innocent unborn children in the name of choice. Although the church celebrated an incredible victory last year with the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe, President Biden once again pledged his allegiance to abortion on demand. Abortion has long been the holy grail of many in government, and the progressive politicians are not about to begin allowing dissenting voters to weigh in on the issue. Euphemistically calling the killing of a child reproductive health care, President Biden called upon Congress to codify Roe v. Wade into federal law, overriding the will of the people in dozens of individual states. Listen, politics is often dirty business, and no political party is pristine. All have their faults, major ones in fact. But abortion is the great moral issue of our time. If you can't see that one clearly, then you can't see any of the others either. There is a serious moral blindness in our nation, and it afflicts our president and his party and millions in our nation. That means the spiritual state of the union is still perilous. So what is the call to action for the church in America? Well, first, we need to repent. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The spiritual health of our union begins with extreme humility and repentance. We, the church, need to acknowledge our sinfulness before a holy God and repent of those times when we have been silent or indifferent regarding the decaying soul of our nation. Second, we need to pray for faithful cultural engagement. We need Christians who will boldly live out their faith, speak the truth in love, and bring real hope to a hopeless world. Jesus says, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. The people of God are not called to retreat from cultural opposition, but instead be the agents of kingdom transformation. Every sphere of culture needs to feel the effects of the good news of Jesus. Government, education, business, media, all need to be influenced and impacted by God's people. Pray that our pulpits will not be silent and that across America, Christians will stand firm and not bow down to the idols of our secular age. And third and lastly, we need to pray for revival. We need to pray that revival would sweep across our nation. It's our greatest need and our only hope. In our history, there have been seasons of spiritual awakening that have influenced the spiritual state of our union dramatically. There are many who have probably never thought about this need. Others may feel we have gone too far, but I want to assure you, God can do more in a moment than we can ever do in a lifetime. As the Bible says, in Jesus was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. America's greatest need is the next great move of God. This is our only hope.